Hello everyone, this video is about quadratic functions and discriminant. The difference between quadratic equation and quadratic function. In a quadratic equation, we have equal sign, can solve using any of the three methods, the value of x can be minus 2 or 3 only. In a quadratic function, we have y, the value of x can be anything, the value of y depends on x. This is the function x squared minus x minus 6. If you draw this using Desmos, x squared minus x minus 6, y equals x squared minus x minus 6. As you can see, you have this kind of parabola. The essential features, x intercept, y intercept, as you can see, minus 2, 0, 3, 0. We have 0 minus 6, 0 minus 6, and 1 over 2. 6 and uh, 1 fourth, so that's minus 25 over 4. So how do we draw this graph without using Desmos? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So, this uh, minus 2, 0 and 3, 0 are called the x-intercepts. The 0 minus 6 is the y-intercept. And this point is called the vertex. From the concept of a function, you can always find the y value if you know the x value. So for example, when the x is minus 2, what is the y? Well, just plug in. So if you plug in a minus 2 squared minus minus 2 minus 6, so you plug in minus 2 to the x values here you get 4 plus 2 6 6 minus 6 0 so that's why you have minus 2 comma 0 and when the x is 0 you plug in 0 you get simply minus 6 that's why you have 0 minus 6 this point when the x is 4 again you plug in 4 squared minus 4 minus 6 16 minus 10 that is 6 so actually we have a point here on the function 4 comma 6 this point is also on the parabola for the y-intercept y-intercept is when the graph meets the y-axis is the y-axis so when they meet we call it y-intercept of course because this is on the y-axis the x value must be 0 so to find the y-intercept this is the easiest essential features we can just plug in 0 if you plug in 0, we get y equals minus 6. So 0 minus 6 is the y-intercept. For the x-intercept, x-intercept is when the y equals 0. Because this is the point where the graph meets the x-axis. So it's on the x-axis, the y value must be 0. So if the y is 0, so that means x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. As you can see, we have a quadratic equation this time, and we can solve this. We get x minus 3x plus 2 equals 0 if we factorize, and so we get x equals 3x equals minus 2. So that is why we have 3, 0, minus 2, 0. x-intercept of a quadratic function equals the solution of a quadratic equation, aka the roots or the zeros. This point is called the vertex. It can be a maximum. So when the shape of the parabola is like this, we have a maximum. This happens when the coefficient a is positive. Or we can have a minimum. And minimum means the shape is like this. Like in the example, we have a minimum point. So this vertex is actually a minimum point. So this is when the x, I mean the coefficient a is smaller than zero. So this um, vertex <coughs> is actually the line of symmetry. This is called the line of symmetry because it is symmetrical. So, how do we find the vertex or the line of symmetry? Well, previously we know that this is 3, 0 and this is minus 2 0 because it is symmetrical we can just find the x value of the vertex by finding the midpoint 
so this is the midpoint of minus 2 and 3 so it's in the middle between minus 2 and 3 so just add minus 2 plus 3 divided by 2 we get 1 over 2 so we get the x value of the vertex how do we find the y value of the vertex again we plug in 1 over 2 1 over 2 right here we get minus 25 over 4 another way to find the vertex the best way is actually to use this shortcut formula minus b over 2a formula derivation video is in the google site so if you just plug in the b is minus 1 the a is 1 you get the x value of the vertex 1 over 2 to find the y value again we plug in 1 over 2 1 over 2 we get the y value another way to find the vertex is to rearrange this equation using this form so if we complete the square the form is actually x minus 1 over 2 all squared minus 25 over 4 so that is why we have 1 over 2 minus 25 over 4 because this is minus h plus k so the h comma k would be the x and the y value of the vertex notice that it's a negative here and a positive here now if we're finding the x value given the y value given the y equals 6 how do we find the x so here when finding the x intercept when the y equals 0 we solve what about when the y equals 6 same thing when the y equals 6 x squared minus x minus 6 equals 6 then if we move everything to the left x squared minus x minus 12 equals 0 we have a quadratic equation we can solve this x minus 4x plus 3 equals 0 which means x can be 4 or x can be minus 3 so this is why we have 4 comma 6 when x equals 0 the y equals 6 but what about the minus 3 well it's, it is actually around here this is when the x is minus 3 and the y is 6 so finding the solution is actually finding the um the the intersection between the quad the quadratic and the straight horizontal line y equals 6 now discriminant from the quadratic uh, formula we have this inside the square root we can have two solutions one solution zero solution depending on the value of the b squared minus 4ac which is called the discriminant because because it this discriminates the type of um, solutions when do we have two solutions that is when the discriminant is positive one solution when the discriminant is exactly zero and a zero solution when the discriminant is smaller than zero because if the discriminant is negative the square root of a negative number is not in the real world there's no square root and if the discriminant happens to be a perfect square we will get a whole number and if it's not a perfect square we will get thirds for example finding the number of solutions of this we just can find the b squared minus 4ac the discriminant the discriminant is 3 squared minus 4 times a times c and here we get 9 plus 817 since the discriminant is positive of course we will have two solutions what about finding the x-intercept same thing this is when the y equals 0 so this is equal to 0 so the discriminant is simply b squared minus 4 times a times c which is 1 minus 4 minus 3 so in conclusion we have a no x intercept here in conclusion this is the discriminant formula the x value of the vertex formula the vertex form the essential features of a quadratic function we have x intercept y intercept vertex axis of symmetry when the discriminant is zero no x intercept 
no x-intercept. When the determinant is exactly zero, we have one x-intercept.